CNC marketing. Yes, I'm calling about mm -hmm. you designing mm -hmm. a website mm -hmm. for my church. Mm -hmm. Twenty-five thousand dollars, ma'am. It's twenty-five thousand dollars. That'll be. That'll be how much? Twenty-five thousand dollars. What didn't you understand? You... Twenty-five thousand. That's right. Two five uh, comma zero zero zero. I often talk about when I'm interviewed on marketing podcast and I'm the guest. The fact that I see there's a very big disconnect between um, uh, talking about reinvention, giving people the tools to reinvent themselves, and what that word reinvention actually means. Uh, sometimes I don't really even care about the word. I don't care what you're doing. What I care about is the process. So it's just like bringing a product to market, right? So if you're going to bring a product to market, you have to do many things. What do you have to do? You have to package it properly. You have to make sure you have an audience for it. You have to find its unique selling proposition. You have to then build the marketing materials. You have to do photography. You have to come up with a logo. You have to do trademarks. You have to do some type of brand narrative. What do you stand for? Who are you? You know, what is your message? What's your color palette? What does your logo look like? You know, how is there consistent? throughout your brand and your culture and if your company grows which it should or it could or it might not but how do you keep that intact and what does that look like and how does that look actually in printed materials like let's call a website like a magazine okay so uh, that's a lot of stuff to think about right and I'm sure a lot of people who are over 50 who are who are saying, well, okay, I have to take my skill set and I have to find a way to um, monetize that, which I'm sure a lot of younger people are doing now also because of COVID. Along with that comes understanding and being able to create your marketing assets and understand that just because you have them, then does that really mean that people will come? So marketing and, and branding are extremely important. And I talk about all the time, you must think about that before you think about anything else, okay? Then go take your, read your books and take your coaching and your, your classes and your master classes. But think about, you know, that. <laughs> How do you see yourself? What are you going to look like? And what's your budget? Okay, so now we finally get to budget. We all know it's possible to do beautiful websites on Wix, on Squarespace, on, you know, you can do product e-commerce websites on Shopify very easily. It's amazing. It used to cost back in the day, you guys, $20,000 to attach a shopping cart to your website. Okay. You just, you, you can do it in 30 minutes on, on Shopify. And then you can attach your Amazon pay to that. And I don't want to get into it, but um, there is no way on God's green earth and Blue Heaven, that a website should cost anyone unless you are a super cool, high, trendy, relevant, whatever, uh, with special effects and all sorts of stuff, $25,000 for a website. No way in the world. Now, if that website was coming along with, we're going to find your brand narrative and we're going to help you with your color palette and your logo and we're going to define you and help you with that. So all of that marketing expertise and branding expertise comes together and helps you launch your personal brand, then I would say maybe 25 grand is okay. But I saw a website today that cost 25 grand in advance that I wouldn't have sent my blind, deceased grandmother to look at. <laughs> I would be too embarrassed. I'm telling you. It was off-brand, off-target. Everything about it was uh, it said to me, Fiverr, $200 website. Okay? I was really disgusted with that. And this person paid $25,000 up front and here's the core of the problem and why I'm talking to you guys about this. Don't think because you don't know what you don't know or you think you don't know something because somebody's telling you, yeah, you know, that's, hey, man, that's what it costs. It costs 25 grand. And, you know, do you know how many pages it is? You know, uh, 
there's so many questions to ask. There's creative briefs. There's a whole process you go through. You know, ask the right questions. Bottom line, if you don't know what you don't know or you know or you think you don't know something, call me. Send me a message. Go to my website. Send me an email. I'm telling you, this is how I built everything that I've ever done in my 28 years in uh, direct response marketing was by helping people understand there's more to it than just uh, (laughs) reading a book or taking a course because then you're left with the fact that maybe you've paid that course all this money to learn how to reinvent yourself and you've got nothing left over to create the marketing materials and the branding that you need to launch yourself because you know what? Everyone is a product and everybody needs marketing to succeed and that is what this lady is built on. (laughs) Anyway, I had to share that. I went over. It's almost seven minutes, but um, don't don't if you don't like something here's my closing message because this person I was helping and dealing with that showed me this website and shared this with me to, uh, the, uh, yesterday he didn't know that he, what he was feeling was right he was feeling that I really don't like what they did here but he didn't even know that his feeling was right he was questioning himself and what he liked and what he didn't like and as the client you if you don't like it If you don't like it, you don't like it. And, you know, if you work together and collaborate the proper way, the process should never be whether you like it or you don't like it. You should always see it developing and growing and getting to the point where you are very happy with it because that is your calling card. Okay. I'm out. I'll talk to you guys tomorrow. Sorry I went over, but hey, hit me up, wendycooper.com. Thanks for listening. I'll see you tomorrow. <laughs>